hello everyone today in this video we will be discussing the fifth module of ui so before starting let me give you a brief overview of what this module is about so this module consists of two chapters um in the th so the first chapter consists of these five things about the controls and the uh, next chapter contains these two types which is the testing okay like different types of testings so in this module you need not very much just memorize these seven questions or you just need to remember the key points in these seven questions okay because the key points are sufficient for you to write what are the content in present in that for each of the question you have to write three things okay the first thing is what it means second thing is what is the advantage and second thing uh, third thing what is its disadvantage okay for each of these you have to write for example if i talk you about the check boxes okay check box is one type of question if they ask you about the check box first define what a check box is then define what are its uh, features like uh, when do you use check boxes we use check boxes mainly when we have to select multiple things or else you can use the radio buttons only right if you just want to select one thing at a time so this is one of the feature of the check boxes as well as you can write the advantage and disadvantage for more information for disadvantage and advantage you can refer to the textbook for this i will be just referring the common what are the advantages disadvantages and i have given few in the notes you can refer that okay so before starting if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel your support help me make more videos like this and let's get started so whenever we finish our topic we'll come back to this and tip uh, a mark on this one okay so this is super important uh, questions don't miss this at any uh, any cost okay so let's get started with the first one which is operable controls so let's have a look at what is operable control and its different categories so what are operable controls explain the usage of buttons along with their advantages and disadvantages operable control means what operable control are those that permit the entry selection changing or editing a particular value the modification of the thing that is called as operable controls or called a command to be performed for this the main thing we use is the buttons okay so a button looks like this right like okay so when a button is clicked we'll be performing some changes on it now you have to define a button that's the first thing uh, so button is a square or rectangular shape control with a label inside that indicates the action to be accomplished the label may consist the text graphics or both okay so you can mention the purpose is to start an action to change properties to display a pop-up menu for the first question only i'm explaining the purposes advantage and disadvantage for the rest also uh, those all things are similar okay so <clears throat> what are the uh, changes you can make in the button like how do you make it more better they can even ask you the guidelines okay so guidelines i can mention a uh, few words like this the button should not be uh, very large and the text inside that should not be uh, the same color as the background uh, otherwise it won't be visible it should be having well contrast it should be pleasant uh, present in the uh, proper location where the button is visible and it should perform the particular action when when we click on that okay and when we hover the mouse button on it it should also show what will happen when you click that uh, mouse button right so that uh, all things uh, come under the guidelines okay when you refer all the guidelines you'll get a brief overview of what are uh, the guidelines you can write for each of these okay so don't worry much about this for this video you need to focus more upon what that thing does okay what do you focus upon in this video what that thing does if you get to know what that thing does you are done with uh, 60% of the answer rest of the things you can write in your own words okay so button is that uh, whatever i explained just now and advantages these are the same advantages you can use for the different um, components as well always visible convenient lo lo uh, logically organized meaningful larger size permits the use of keyboard accelerators and equivalents keyboard accelerators and equivalents are nothing but the shortcut keys like control a and uh, equivalent means if you have like for example about if you click a that will be selected in the uh, options right that is what is called equivalents and and faster some of the disadvantages include consumes screen space size limits requires looking away from the main working area requires moving the pointer a pointer to the select so any of the disadvantage which you find in the um, using of the button let it be however small it is see here what they are telling requires moving the pointer to the select obviously if ok is present here we have to move the pointer here and do it but in some cases if the button is present here we can just click a key and do the following thing the time taken to drag the mouse from here to here that is also getting in, uh, the consideration so don't neglect any small thing also that can also become an advantage or a disadvantage okay so you can uh, get the points as you watch this video okay so that was the first question which is uh, what are the operable controls Again, what is operable controls? Those that permit the entry, selection, changing or editing a particular value or uh, make an action to be performed. That is what is called operable controls. You got to know about buttons. It's just a square or rectangular shaped um, thing which can be used to do the following stuffs and their advantage and disadvantage. So let's tick mark on that. So this is done. Operable control is then next only the text, uh, text only controls. So let's have a look what is text only controls. 
a text only control consists the uh, text that is exclusively entered or modified through the keyboard if you have a text area that is what is called text control you, here you can enter only through the keyboard you cannot uh, modify it using mouse right that is what is called uh, text only or read only controls read only control means that text which is visible which you cannot modify so the definition will write as follows a control usually in rectangular shape which text may be entered or edited text may be displayed for read only purposes okay so the other things are there advantages and you can go through it okay that was about the text only and read only control let's stick mark on that don't ever worry about the advantage disadvantage just know what the thing is and advantage disadvantage you have to write in your own words the third one is the selection controls the selection controls can be as follows you have to know each of these what it means okay so if you know this what it means the advantage disadvantage it's uh, very easy for you radio buttons when it is used what it is and um, when it is more preferred all those things you need to know radio buttons is nothing but you will be having a set of options and you need to just select one option at that time radio buttons will be used check boxes you already know there will be multiple check boxes possible you can select any of those like for example ordering any food item palettes are nothing but you will be having um, like this thing like a frame you will be having and some images or the icons you'll be having or the colors you'll be having and how you can make it more better is you can uh, form it in a different shapes and uh, if you click on one color the different shades of that color should be visible like the things you can add okay list boxes list view uh, controls list boxes are not, uh, uh, nothing but we'll be having a list and it will be in a box so it is called list boxes and we'll be selecting item from that list view controls so let's have a look at that uh, as we go so this is the radio button a two-part control consisting of small circles choice descriptions when a choice is selected the option is highlighted don't miss any small point see obviously when we click on this the option will be highlighted isn't it but still they have mentioned here okay like that only you have to also mention every small point to get full marks okay and this is one of the pictorial uh, representation you can draw this in a very big format like a half page you can fill and make use of this one okay like a diagram can fill a lot of pages okay check boxes it looks like this and the same things either on and off and everything will be happening palettes is like like this you'll be having colors in it and you can select any color list boxes will be having unlimited choices and a uh, single selection is made a multiple selection can also be made list view controls it's just a collection of items consisting of an icon and a label you can select any of those items okay so those both uh, were very similar just a technical difference are there drop down uh, or pop-up list boxes here you might have seen these things right this is only uh, drop down and uh, pop-up li uh, pop list boxes a single rectangular control that shows one item with a small button to the right side okay again you see it's a very small thing but still they have defined it so you also have to do the same spin boxes are nothing but you will be having like these things you can either scroll it up or scroll it down like those things you can do right this is what is called spin boxes you can write content right uh, you can have a text here then you can have the values here and you can change it those things can be specified here then we, uh, next we have the combo boxes combo boxes means you'll be having like these things if you click on this you'll be able to scroll in between these things and it will get a drop down menu it's just like a list box but it requires scrolling as well okay so that was about the selection controls so let's stick on that next uh, let's have a look at the view controls okay so what are the different types of view controls is slider tabs date picker tree view and scroll bars slider we all know what is slider just define it it's a scale exhibiting of uh, degrees of quality on a continuum and it has a shaft or a bar range of values and arm indicating the relative settings so it looks as follows you can make this diagram and write the advantage disadvantage tab is what a window containing the tab divided that create pages or selections okay so navigation is simple here this is one of the tabs like that if you click on this this will be in this format that will take the more priority and the space date picker you'll be having a calendar type thing and from there you can select the date you want tree view tree view is nothing but the in the left side of your my file explorer you will be having these kind of things right if you click on minus this will contract if you click on plus this extra things will be visible here okay that is what is called the tree view and the last one is the scroll bars you can use the scroll bars to scroll the content up and down okay next uh, uh, let's uh, go and tick that you just need to know these things okay? don't worry much about the module 5 next we have the uh, last uh, question from the module uh, first chapter for the of the module 5 which is the presentation controls so explain the following presentation controls static text fields static text field means it is just showing some value that is what is called static read only remember for the static one next we have group boxes in group boxes you will be having two or more things in a single entity that is what is called group boxes that is also one of the presentation style if you want to display 
डिस्प्ले मल्टीपल थिंग्स इन अ सिंगल थिंग देन नेक्स्ट में ऑफ द कॉलम हेडिंग्स दिस इज वॉट इज कॉल्ड कॉलम हेडिंग्स ओके दैट्स ऑल नथिंग मच टूल टिप्स मीन्स वॉट इफ यू हवर ऑन सब आई कैन दैट टेक्स विल बी विजिबल ऑफ दैट राइट दैट इज वॉट इज कॉल्ड um tool tip right about what uh, is the use of it and how it is defined okay next uh, last we have the balloon tips balloon tips means if you are entering your age here yeah, it will be or let's take an example for the password if you're entering a password something like this will be visible right so what are the valid characters you have to include it should uh, include an uppercase lowercase special character and a number as well and it should be of the eighth length all those things are uh, coming under this kind of um, visualization which is called as balloon tips progress indicators is nothing but how much of progress it's completed that thing and sam uh, sample box is nothing but you will be having a text in that and some uh, graphics or the like captcha okay captcha you will be having right for the robot thing so that is what is called sample box last one is uh, scrolling tickets in that you will be having a horizontal container um, that text which scrolls horizontally through a container window like this if you go to the uh, websites of the government you will be having something like news flashing right within a small box that is what is called scrolling tickets okay so that was about the different types of views let's go and tick that this is the presentation views just you need to know the differences and the purpose advantage disadvantage uh, then coming to the second chapter we have two types of question what are the prototypes and kinds of tests why do we need prototypes and test, uh, types of tests suppose that we have designed a feature we need to check how well it is taking the input and uh, giving the feedback so for testing that we'll be having different types of prototypes either we can do it by hand sketches and scenarios screen sketches are created by hand you can design a scenario and test it uh, on your own for the given prototype okay? Okay. whatever the item you have designed design it from a uh, hand and give the input and get the feedback okay that's one of the uh, ways of testing whatever the thing you have designed next one we have the in, uh, interactive paper prototypes paper prototypes are nothing but menus windows and screens then we have the program packets it's like the dialogs in the uh, boxes or uh, the message boxes which appear after performing some activity if you want to test that you can use uh, program packets and prototype oriented languages if you want to display the output in the form of some language like c++ java or python you can uh, use this one prototype oriented languages it's created through the programming languages support the actual programming process next uh they are only four yeah okay fine so th these four are the different types of prototype that used for uh, testing all the features and icons of the device okay make sure you know these four things and what it means advantages and disadvantages okay next one uh, let's stick that and move to the last question which is kinds of tests so what are the different kinds of tests we have very simple the first one is the guidelines review a uh, team will be there to review the guidelines which are performed for the following uh, icon or the uh, uh, application by using that guidelines will be uh, taking some decisions and making some changes okay so that is what is called guidelines review advantage disadvantage and go through it heuristic evaluation here we will be considering many factors before uh, deciding something that is what is called heuristic evaluation and for this also some team will be the specialist team okay cognitive walkthroughs here we'll be applying our brain and uh, making a lot of research and analyzation and statistical analysis all the things we'll be doing and getting a walkthrough of from start uh, till the end product and we'll be uh, searching if there's any defect in that or not next we have think aloud think aloud is just uh, forming a group and recording analyzing and uh, commenting on some features and then deciding what is to be done next we have the usability test using the feature and testing it under the real world conditions next we have the classic experiment an objective comparison of two or more prototypes if there is a best prototype already available you have designed something uh, new you will compare it and get to know what are the differences and then um, accordingly you will make some changes or the decisions will be um, deciding what is to be done further that is what is called classic experiments and the last one is the focus groups you will be having some discussions with the users about the interface design prototype or the tasks okay make sure you uh, know these seven questions very well and uh, hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one